Alright guys, so I know this might seem a little bit odd, but hear me out. I got this thing for the iPhone SE 2022 and it looks like Apple still sells these brand new on their website. But spending 450 euros on one? No thank you. So I looked around and found this 64 gigabytes product red SE3 on Swappy's website. And guess what? The package finally arrived. So this isn't sponsored by Swappy guys, so you're getting the real deal review here. I cashed out my hard earned 259 euros plus shipping to get my hands on this SE3. Should I call it the SE3 or should I call it the SE 2022? I'm gonna keep calling it the SE3. So this is what Swappy calls a very good condition. So. I'm itching to see how scratched up this phone is. Alright, let's see what we got here. It's looking pretty good. There's just something about this product red color guys. And the sides are clean too. I think they have nailed it with this shade of red. And the black front, I'm so glad. Oh wait a sec, what's this? A scratch on the screen and it's a deep one but aside from that the phone looks like it rolled off the assembly line yesterday the product red logo looks sharp too you can tell this phone was babied in a case it's in fantastic condition Alright, I will quickly set up this phone now, but I forgot to show you what goodies came packed in the box. And we got the usual suspects here, a lightning charging cable and the SIM jack tool. Props to Swappy for including that. Okay, but before we move on to the battery check, I got to change this default wallpaper. And as always, if you want to download this wallpaper for yourself, the download link is in the description below. Now, what really interests me is the battery health percentage. So let's head over to battery settings and check it out. Wow, 99% maximum capacity. Now that's pretty awesome. That means it's practically a brand new battery. And I didn't even have to opt for a new one. Swappy will charge you 25 euros if you ask them to install a brand new battery. Now, I know Swappy checks this phone before they send them out, but I wanted to test a few things myself. So I set up the Touch ID and it's working like a charm. I checked the camera and it shoots 4K30 no problem. It's a real shame that Apple didn't include the night mode with the SE3. I tested a few games and let me tell you, this phone handled them like a champ, so I won't bore you with the details as all games ran smoothly without any lag. Now, for those of you who geek out over benchmarks, here is the CPU's Geekbench score and to put it into perspective, here is my iPhone 15 Pro. So, to wrap this one up, I gotta say that this SE3 at 259 euros with a one year warranty seems like a solid deal to me. Now, in this price range, you got another contender, the iPhone 12 mini, so it really comes down to your personal preference. Whether you like the classic design and the newer chip of the SE3 or you like more the modern look but the slightly older A14 chip of the 12 mini. By the way, feel free to check out my recent iPhone 12 mini review from Swappy. I will drop the link in the description below. That said, I hope you like this video. You all have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next one.